part on. Yo, so um, obviously after after the game, um, Deion Sanders had the interview said that his items were stolen from his locker room. There was a lot of going back and forth. They were not stolen. They were misplaced. Deion was like, no, the hell with that. My stuff was stolen. I don't want to hear nothing about misplaced. My stuff was stolen. Um, and for people who don't know, during the offseason, uh, Deion's truck was broken into. Uh, he had a, a big old boombox uh, speaker uh, that was stolen out of his truck, but it was soon uh, returned to him after, uh, you know, he found out it was missing and someone had broken his truck. Um, and one they get to take away from this situation, uh, <clears throat> uh, a fine detail in terms of, uh, oh, wow, how did he get stolen? Da, 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 da. The stadium is nowhere near, like, connected to the campus. So, like, you know, it's, like, a couple ways, uh, from my understanding, away from the actual, like, school. Um, so not necessarily sure how and what security works or whatever. So so on this, so so forth, whatever the case may be. And obviously there's Deion, that's Deion Sanders and you know his statue. When there is a will, there's a way of somebody really trying to get you. However, we have by far the greatest take on the Deion Sanders uh items, his belongings being stolen and the tweets that he put out. We have the greatest take that you will ever hear. Um, about this situation, and that take will come from none other than Sedacious. Talk to the people. Thank you so much. I'm, and I'm glad you added that that first part because that kind of fuels how I feel more. And I think that he was just fed up because at first, y'all steal my nigga boombox. And then all of a sudden, y'all go, and go into my man's shit and y'all grab his weed, man. Y'all steal his weed from him. <laughs> my man was pissed off, bro. He had to come in there and be like, Whoever that bitch was that said that I was lying about lying, I wasn't lying. First of all, <laughs> they took what was in my zip bag. And so they took what was in my zip bag. And then they got some other shit out of my office. Y'all ain't got to read between the lines. Y'all took that man weed and y'all wrong for that. He won the game and he want to go get his bag of weed in his phone, smoke one, call his wife. Hey, yeah, baby. We kicked their ass, didn't we? Hit it a couple of times and now he can't call his wife, can't smoke his weed. Please. He the prime time dance the man, before it. The man, thank you, Darnell. He did us a favor by bringing his black ass to the HBCU. Don't be niggas. Don't be niggas that take his weed. Some of, one of the players took it. One of the players took it and they was like, Coach, get it back. He ain't tripping. Go ahead and get this off of him. Coach, get it back. We finna smoke this tonight, though. Yeah, this whole zip. He should don't leave no zips around us, coach. <laughs> Yo, so for those who may have not seen the Diaz Sanders uh post game interview after the game and him voicing his frustrations, uh, when Sedacious says read between the lines, he's talking about the tweet that Deion Sanders put out that says, <clears throat> "Whomever putting out the lie that my belongings wasn't stolen is lying. My belongings." were taken out of a zipped bag. Again, my belongings were taken out of a zipped bag in my office and more items were taken as well from my office. We have retrieved them since being reported. My staff member witnessed the crime. And again, it says my belongings were taken out of a zipped <laughs> bag in my <laughs> office. So that is sedacious with the very introspective thought process and just reading between the lines, what would be in a zip bag? <laughs> right. Because old buddy that worked there was like, they had a big bag of weed by this big, by this much weed. Oh, yeah, yeah, they took your shit. I remember they took your shit. They got with your shit. <laughs> yeah. They went down and they, they make a left. Yeah, they down there. And that's pretty much the dialogue I've right there. That's the they dialogue. was laughing. They was excited. They was too excited. I'm like, what they got? Yeah. They down there. Got that's my an accurate name. dialogue right there. Oh man, like, now I'm my I ain't coming back next year. I'm coaching this year and I'm done. They keep stealing my shit. <laughs> hey, when you text, when you text in the group chat, and you was like, "Is it me or is nobody else like not thinking of like annoyed? Like, did anybody else realize how pissed off he was about this?" <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that boy got that loud pack. You gotta put, <laughs> hey, you gotta put it in the ziplock or the mason jar." 
Hey man, this boy got the stickiest of the icky man. <laughs> uh, what was the name of that team? At Edward Edward Waters College out of Jacksonville. Smoking on that Edward Waters pack. That's exactly what yeah. he's trying to do. 